Brian Flores is back in the NFL, joining the Steelers as a senior defensive assistant and linebackers coach. But the former Dolphins head coach isn't finished in his fight against alleged mistreatment in Miami, telling HBO's Real Sports with Bryant Gumbel on Tuesday that Dolphins owner Stephen Ross offered him a non-disparagement agreement upon his dismissal, which would have prevented him from saying anything negative about the club. The Dolphins have since disputed the claim, calling Flores' allegations false and defamatory, and just the latest in a pattern of unfounded statements. Flores, who filed a class action lawsuit against the Dolphins, NFL and two other teams alleging racial discrimination, told Bryant Gumbel he declined the separation agreement, which would have really silenced me. Flores attorney John Eleftarakis added that the ex-Dolphins coach could have made millions through the deal, which ran for two years. His other attorney, Doug Wigder, argued that Ross offered the agreement to keep alleged issues, like Ross allegedly offering Flores $100,000 per loss during the 2019 season in order to better the Dolphins' draft pick, under wraps. If it was about the money he would have signed it, Wigder said of Flores' decision to decline the alleged offer, per ESPN. What he did instead was he filed this lawsuit so that he could help other coaches. If a coach is terminated with a couple years or a year left on their contract, they don't get paid unless they sign a waiver, and non-disparagement agreement, confidentiality and non-disparagement. So they buy their silence. The Dolphins, through a statement, have addressed the claims as outright lies. This latest assertion by Brian Flores that Steve Ross mentioned a non-disparagement agreement to him is categorically false, the statement read. This just did not happen and we simply cannot understand why Brian continues this pattern of making unfounded statements that he knows are untrue. We are fully cooperating with the NFL investigation and look forward to all of the facts coming out, which we are confident will prove that his claims are false and defamatory. The Miami Dolphins will make a decision on Mac Hollins in the coming weeks but they should re-sign him and then play him. Hollins is everything the Dolphins should be wanting on their team. He is charismatic, has a sense of humor, loves the game, and most importantly, he is good at what he does. In Miami, we hear about Devontae Parker who is on the sidelines or we hear about Parker when he showcases his talent with an amazing catch every now and then. We outwardly wonder if Preston Williams will ever be healthy enough to become what we thought he would be. Last year we were blown away by Jalen Waddell and wondered where Albert Wilson went and why Will Fuller was gone all year. But the one constant was Hollins. A guy that when Miami needed a big play, he delivered over and over and over again. Consistently, Hollins has three years of football under his belt. He is an impending free agent and may not be a top priority for Mike McDaniel but he should be. 2019-4 games 0 starts 1 target 0 receptions 0 yards. 2020-16 games 2 starts 25 targets 16 receptions 176 yards 7 first downs. 2021-17 games 3 starts 28 targets 14 receptions 223 yards 11 first downs. His numbers are not eye-popping. They are pedestrian which should be expected for a guy who plays part-time. Yet in his three seasons in Miami, he was with the Eagles for 12 games in 2019, he has only four dropped passes. Think about that, he has 54 receptions with Miami, four of those are drops and 30 of those were receptions meaning the other 10 passes were not catchable balls. Hollins has shown he can play in this league and he is still developing. He has more to offer the Dolphins than Alan Hearns, Albert Wilson, Preston Williams, and some of the other wide receiver on the roster. He has also stayed healthy. Miami will need to make decision with their roster this year. Hollins should be retained. He will be cheap and has shown that he belongs. This should be an easy re-sign and it will be disappointing if he hits the market and goes somewhere else.